Okay, here's this is a set of original dog tags that I carried through the Pacific War. I spent 32 months there, and uh, this is a parachute shroud that I cut it off of, and that's what I used to tie it on my neck with. Okay. Here's a little book that I carried in my pocket. This is a shrapnel that entered the uh, book. Where did that happen? That happened on Okinawa. Okay. This is a compass I carried for 32 months in the Pacific. And it sure looks looks like it. I was a forward observer for the 81 mortars, and this was what I used to set the mortars up and fire the guns. Uh, this is the leggings that Marines wore when they landed, made their landings. Your name's on there? During the Korean War, they got the nickname Yellow Legs for wearing these things. So tell me a little bit about this map. This is a war map of Okinawa. It shows, uh, it shows the city of Naha. It shows where we had advanced. There was a little airfield of Machinado, and uh, it shows that. And over in here is the medieval castle of Shuri. It's it's uh it's actually done up for firing firing uh, artillery and guns for, so it's kind of hard to it's not like a normal map. Now I say I see the word secret on here. Yeah, Where that's. Did you get this? Uh, well, I had to have it because I was I needed to do my firing. Okay. Uh, okay, this is a. I took this from a Japanese dead soldier. He had it in his pack. He was on it was on Cape Gloucester. And I figured that he was. This was a, something that was a family history on it. And uh, he apparently was shot in the back, and his buddy was taking this home to the family. That's the story on that, as far as I know. And this is one of the uh, dungaree jackets. This is what we wore in combat. And if you notice that there's uh, the the buttons on this are black. And that's the reason to keep the rifle, uh, keep away the uh, shine so that they can identify you. And we wore this in a pair of trousers just like it. A canteen with two, uh, belt with two canteens on it and a little medical pouch and all the ammunition you could carry. And that's all we carried in the combat. Uh, Here is a picture by Tom Lay of, uh, that he that he had uh, on Peleliu. That was at the campaign, the island of Peleliu. Okay. And there's some more of his stuff. That's the way we were looked like when we went in. It was uh, we were painted up. We got kits of makeup kits. To, of course, after the first hour or two, we were so dirty anyway. So, do you have any photographs of yourself? Yes, I do. And Let me I see one of those. We have time to take a peek at one of those, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay. After the war ended, they, they wanted a picture. This was an official Marine Corps photo after the war ended while they got us together. The, this is what was left of the original guys after the four campaigns. How many were there to start with? Oh, there was uh, there was about 50. And now there's only uh, Of course, there was a lot there. more ran through there because uh, there was a lot of them were replacements, and maybe we had over 200 people during that time. Uh, this is me right here. This is the lieutenant. I was a sergeant, and the rest of these guys were corporals. Okay, and sir, tell me your name again. George Pito. And what unit were you with? Third Battalion, First Marines. And what years were you in the military? I was in in 1941, just before World War II, and I stayed in until after World War II. It was November the 25th, 1945. Great. Thank you so much. Okay.